everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, up until last week, nobody had ever heard of Maria Butina. Well, that's not true. A lot of Republicans had. You can find pictures of her with Republican luminaries like Bobby Jindal, Rick Santorum, Scott Walker, among others. Right now, she's sitting in a jail, charged with conspiracy against the United States and acting as an agent for Russia. Bettina lived with Paul Erickson, a Republican strategist and member of the American Conservative Union. And he supplied her with names of top Republican leaders that she should cultivate a relationship with. She was also very popular with the NRA, even arranging trips to Russia for former NRA President David Keene and other top NRA donors. Evidence indicates that she arranged for her boss, Alexander Tonchin, to funnel money through the NRA to Trump and other Republican candidates in the 2016 election. Bettina and Tonchin also met with Donald Trump Jr. during an NRA convention. Convention. We don't yet know what other communications Trump Jr. had with them, but Tonchin is a wanted man in Spain, and they've been investigating him for years. And recently, Spanish prosecutors gave the FBI tapes of wiretap conversations of Tonchin, and one of the prosecutors said that Donald Jr should be worried about that. The FBI also has in its possession an email by Erickson in which he states that he had set up secret communication with Republican leaders in the Kremlin. They also have an email from Bettina in which she states Republicans are for us and Democrats against us. So this raises the question, have the, Republican, have the Russians co-opted the Republican Party? I mean, there's Republican Representative Dana Rohrbacher here from California has been known for years to be the Russians' point man on the Hill. During the House investigation, the Democrats wanted to have Patina brought before the committee for questioning but the Republicans refused to allow it. And I think now we know why. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. And I want you to keep on doing that. Just not on YouTube. If you look down in the description box, you're going to see two new links there. One is to my Patreon page, the other one is to a site called Top Buzz. Now on Top Buzz, they're letting me monetize my video and, I, and they're not even ads on them. So I'd like you to get in the habit of watching my videos there. Or you can go to my Patreon page and if you want to become a supporter, that would be great. If you don't, you can still watch my videos there. But for me, YouTube is no longer worth bothering with. It's just a launching pad that I use to put my videos at other places on the net. So I do want you to keep on watching my videos, but not on YouTube.